Hey guys, even here, so the Arnold Classic UK pre-judging just wrapped up and in this video we're gonna take a good look at what happened here we're gonna do a little analysis of all the callouts so first we're gonna take a look at the top 4 callout and of course, as expected, we had Samson Dauda and Hari Japan in the middle and then also John De La Rosa and James Collins had just like the Arnold Ohio making that top 4 at the pre-judging a little bit later, John and James are gonna be compared to other 3 guys, to Akeem Williams also so we're gonna take a look at whether Akeem can also make that top 4 the way he came back at the finals of Arnold Ohio but for now let's focus on the first callout, the most likely scenario of our top 4 so, right off the bat, when they hit the front double what did I think? can Hadi repeat or can Samson actually win this time? well, to be completely honest, the first impression that I got is that Samson can actually do it because of his perfect symmetry, basically, perfect balance, flawless shape, crazy symmetry, Hadi is obviously not as aesthetic, and one leg is definitely smaller, it's very visible, and Samson is just perfect, you know, and he controlled his midsection much better here. Pay attention to that, he wasn't letting it go as much as he did at the Arnold, so I think Samson improved in that sense, and also I think Samson came in a little bit sharper. Hadi, however, it's extremely hard to judge based on this live stream, but I think Hadi came in maybe 5% worse. Conditioning is pretty much the same. I think he's just a little bit flatter, or it seems like that, on this live stream. And I don't think this live stream is as good as the Ohio one. I think this one is worse, but they are all in the same live stream, the same quality of the camera is filming them all, so we can compare them still. So as I said, in the first shot, in the front double, when they hit the front double, I thought it was close, actually. Even though Tyler Mannion said that it wasn't close at the Arnold Ohio, I thought this time around, Samson kind of closed the gap a little bit more. I think he came in drier, sharper, and Hadi seemed like 5% worse, so I thought it would be enough. But when they turned around, you know, it was a different story. Hadi is destroying Samson from behind. He is killing him in the back department and also, of course, glute conditioning. Now, as far as the other two guys, let's go back to the front double bicep. In this one, yeah, I have John De La Rosa. Even though James has bigger legs, bigger quads, his torso is way too long, his lats are not popping out, uh, there is no weed taper, arms are definitely much smaller than those of John De La Rosa. I have John firmly in third here. As far as the back double bicep, John versus James, do we need to talk about this? let's just not even talk about this honestly, John is probably beating Samson as well in this shot I mean, not in size, but as far as conditioning and detail he's a bit too small to challenge Samson really, but you know, it's close he's actually very good in the back department as far as the back lat spread, I don't know what happened here but for some reason, everybody kind of looks off in this pose Samson didn't open up it seems like Samson is cramping up he's unable to open up his lats and this happens sometimes is this because of his peak week protocol? Are his electrolytes in a bad disbalance? It's very, very possible. This happens often. I've seen this happen many, many times. It happened to me as well on the stage. I'm not saying that his wife's peak week protocol doesn't work well, because it happens. It happens to everybody. Now, I'm looking at Hadi, and I think Hadi looks better in the back lat spread. I don't think this is him at his best. So, it's either that he's... Uh, also cramping up or something like that, which I don't think is the case I think he's just a little bit flat, and it shows it could also be the quality of the live stream, but I don't think that's the case but definitely Samson looks completely off, he just didn't open up James, I don't know what happened to him, <laughs> this is even worse than Samson it's asymmetrical, he didn't open up as much as he could I know he can be wider in this shot he just didn't open up and he looks kind of flat from behind I don't think he nailed his peak week and John De La Rosa also doesn't look super wide, I think he could look better, so I think this has something to do with the quality of the live stream, because nobody looks really good in this shot, except for Hadi, you know, Hadi looks very good, but he could look better too. So as the show went on, I was just paying attention to Samson, can he actually defeat Hadi at this show? And I actually thought he has a chance, because, again, the same reasons why I thought he could beat him at the Ohio, you know, shape, structure, stuff like that, but look at Hadi, man the conditioning, the detail, the hardness, the readiness like, in terms of controlling his midsection, posing but I gotta say, Samson improved as well, he's doing a vacuum now as well and he's definitely flexing his abs better he's showing more details in the quads I think Samson improved for this show so I thought it was close 
At this point, I thought Samson could beat Hari. Samson could win. But we're gonna see about that yet. Now, as far as the second callout, we had these three guys. Akeem Williams came in uh, definitely much flatter, much smaller. He's basically a downsized version of himself. His arms look smaller, his legs look smaller, his lats and chest, everything just looks smaller. But he's more conditioned. This time, he's definitely way more conditioned than he was at the Arnold Ohio pre-judging. But I don't think this works for him. I don't think he's gonna be in that top four. I think he's fifth right now. And just like in the Ohio, Anton is next at this show, sixth. And the last place goes to Mohamed Shaban, even though his conditioning is actually very good. And I do see improvements that he made in his back. So, you know, he actually has a chance of pulling ahead. But as for right now, I do have him in that last place because of the size, really. He is smaller than the other guys. Look at the back last spread here. Also, everybody looks horrible. What is wrong with these guys at this show? Everyone's back lat spread looks bad. I guess it's gotta be the live stream. Now, in the side poses, I think Akim cements himself in the front runner position of this call out. And can he crack the top four? Well, I don't know. Maybe if he changes something drastically for the finals, if he places third in the finals and fifth here, then he can get a fourth place. Is that a possibility? Sure, but I don't think it's likely because at Ohio he was spilled over in the pre judging and he dried out for the finals. What can he do now? I think he just over a little for these two weeks to get in better condition. Later, they actually added James and John to this mix. And as you can see, John is in the center. So I think he's very firmly in that third spot. And if Akim has a chance against anybody, it would be James. Personally, I don't know, man. I think it's very close between James and Akim. Maybe I would choose Akim because he's definitely more conditioned, harder. But I think James was in that top four call out for a reason. Just like I think they put Hari and Samson in a two-man callout for a reason, not only for a show. I think they actually wanted to see who looks better, who's gonna be the first guy to fade. And if you take a look at this shot, for example, front relaxed, I actually think Samson's got it. There isn't a big difference in conditioning, right? I mean, in this shot at least, the legs, Samson's legs are just as conditioned as Hari's. Waist size... I mean, Hari is pulling a vacuum, but Samson is not. He's actually contracting the abs, and his waist, compared to his legs and his shoulders, actually looks smaller. It's a better axe frame. Also, chest. I think Samson's chest is fuller. I think his arms are fuller here. So, I think Samson actually had it in this pose. But as they kept posing, I think Samson was the one to actually fade away. Samson did not fade away at the Arnold Ohio. He kept the same look throughout the entire show, but this time around, again, I think he was sharper, but he faded away as the show went on, and Hadi, as you can see, he's also flatter, but he kind of stayed the same. His posing stamina is just insane, it's crazy. Samson is usually known for that, but at this show, I think he had a little bit of a trouble. Again, I think it could be a peak week issue. I don't know if you guys compete, but if you do, you know how much more difficult it is to pose when you are very dehydrated. Because I've done some shows that were like easy shows to win, and I didn't dehydrate too much, and I could pose for days. I would do like two or three categories, and I would just go from one to another, and I wouldn't even get tired. But when I'm dehydrated, I'm struggling not to collapse on that stage, and I think that was happening to Samson. I think he maybe dehydrated himself a little bit too much, and it was hard for him to continue posing, so I don't think he looked as convincing as the posing went on. And Hadi, he was just as dominant. So basically, at first, I thought Samson has a chance, but then later, no. I do like what Samson did with the posing, he definitely controlled his midsection better, he showed his details in the quads much better this time around, but I don't think it was enough, honestly. I think this time around Hadi is winning. I think the judges gave Samson a fair shot, but look at him here. He definitely faded. And Hadi, I don't think he did. At least, not as much. So the judges compared them many times. As you can see, they went again one more time. And I think at this point, it was concluded that Hadi is winning this uh, quite decisively. But I do think this show was closer than Arnold Ohio. I think Samson did improve. And that he actually had a chance... But I think Hadi just did enough uh, in these posing rounds, and uh, I think he confirmed himself to be two times Arnold Classic winner, the winner of the Arnold Classic UK. I think that's what's gonna happen. 
we'll see you guys tell me what do you think down below if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for the Arnold Classic Classic Physique final recap and results and also stay tuned for tomorrow for the open class finals thank you guys so much for watching see you soon see you actually later and tomorrow as well all the best guys and bye bye